Save up to 50% on your medicine bills. Ask your doctor or pharmacist if PharmaDynamics has a generic medicine that's suitable for you. We eat loads more sugar than our grandparents did, yet we try to eat less and it's almost impossible. Addictions can be tricky to define and tough to prove, but nonetheless, here's a rough self-test that could be a red flag when it comes to sugar addiction. Listen closely. Have you ever used sugar as a reward for something? Have you ever used sugar to change your mood, like when you felt sad, tired, or when you needed a lift? Have you ever eaten sugar even when you weren't hungry? You just finished a meal and you're very full, but still you order dessert or go to the fridge and pull out the ice cream. Have you ever tried to stop eating sugar and couldn't? Have you ever taken a small bite of something sweet and felt compelled to finish the whole thing? Have you ever stopped eating sugar and when you started eating it again, couldn't stop binging? If you answered yes to one or two of those questions, then you probably have a sugar addiction. <laughs> Most people laugh and will admit to being addicted to sugar, but then don't realize just how harmful that addiction is. I mean, just compare sugar addiction to something like smoking. Both sugar and cigarettes are extremely addictive. Both cause slow, almost unnoticeable damage. And both sugar and cigarettes are very, very hard to stop. South Africa's Battle of the Bulge is an epidemic. Statistics show that 60% of our population is overweight or obese. Karen Thompson recognized the dire state of our nation's weight and developed HELP, Harmony Eating and Lifestyle Program, the first inpatient program to treat carbohydrate and sugar addiction. While working in the fast-paced fashion industry, she spent almost a year in rehabilitation facility for narcotics and alcohol addictions as well as an eating disorder. It was this experience that prompted her to conceptualize the HELP program. Corin is no stranger to revolutionary healthcare work as she's the granddaughter of Dr. Christian Barnard. Obesity, obviously there must be a link between our addiction to sugar and this obesity epidemic that we experience. Huge, I think it's, it's, it's such, such a big link. Um, you know, I mean, the studies that have been done now, and there are quite a few medical papers, as mm. you would know, are on, on you know, what is making us fat. And it's not fat. Fat isn't causing us to be fat. It's the carbs and the sugar that spike our insulin, our blood, our blood sugar, um, and those then get stored as fat around our organs. And that's the dangerous fat, as you know. That's right. Yeah. You know, so the fat in itself is not our enemy. Tell me about the program. I mean, 28 days, it's an inpatient program. What does that entail? Because I think uh, if we were to look at the prerequisites of what makes up a potential sugar addict, I tick a lot of those boxes. Well, you're welcome to come. Um, <laughs> basically, the 28 Day Inpatient Program is a program where we address any addiction. So we address alcoholism, we address uh, drug addiction, we address eating disorders. Okay. So any addiction, which is a compulsion, uh, it's a behavior, you know. So we look at that. We look at the underlying causes, especially the childhood trauma wow. with relation to addiction. So you're actually putting alcohol addiction on the same level as sugar addiction. Completely. Wow. Well, alcohol is a sugar as well, isn't it? <laughs> You're right. Slightly different effect though. Eh? Yeah, of, of course. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's the same thing. It's that not being able to just have one drink. You know, yeah. when an alcoholic has one drink, they, have, they, they continuously drink until they pass out. Yeah. You know, when I am a sugar addict, when I go to the, the shop and, well, I don't eat sugar anymore, but when I used to go to the shop, I used to feel down. I used to go to my drug dealer, which was the garage. I used to buy three slabs, you know, I would try eat one, uh, one little block, but I yeah. couldn't. I would finish them all. The guilt and the shame that would come after that was yeah. just tremendous. I would hide it from my children. I wouldn't want to share it. You know, so for me, it's exactly the same behaviors as I had when I was using drugs and alcohol. Wow. And 28 days, am I going to lose weight in 28 days? Definitely. We've had okay. people lose between 5 to 9 kilograms, wow. depending on how much they need to lose. Uh, I mean, we've had people who are still on the diet that have been through the system, that have lost 20 kilograms, wow. that have stopped taking their heart medication with their doctor, you know, have reduced their levels of insulin if they're diabetic. Wow. So we've had an amazing, amazing outcome, you know. And apart from the diet and the, the health benefits, the emotional and psychological and spiritual benefits has, has just, it literally changes people's lives. Wow. What you happens know? to their energy, though? Because you'd imagine that carbohydrates feed the brain and kind of feed, feed us energy. So suddenly I'm not having sugar, and that's why we will, we're so used to our sugar, so we get the slump, you know, it's sort of three o'clock in the exactly. afternoon, and oh, what happens to that energy? Well, there is no slump. 
when you're eating a lot of fat and a lot of protein, you know, you kind of, before I was like, my energy levels were like this. And I literally wanted to throttle somebody when my sugar dipped. I yeah. was willing to kill my husband. Um, you know what I mean? If You're I didn't alive, get eh? that sweet, barely. Okay, just take But it is, yes. Um, yeah, I was literally willing to actually kill somebody with that dip in sugar. I don't have that anymore. Wow. You know? So, and, and yeah. You talk about a lot of fat. Let's just define what fat, because the last thing I want is people to go and kind of just eat the skin off chicken and, you know, just tear off that biltong fat, there's a difference between good fat and bad fat. Hmm. Oh, okay, wow, this is going to be an interesting discussion. <laughs> what does the audience say? Are you agreeing with me or with Karen? <laughs> eat the skin on the chicken, eat the fat on the biltong, but okay. don't eat it with any carbs. All right. Yeah. I'm not sure I can take that advice to heart, Karen. Okay, okay, yet. but if so you let's, can... So let's agree to disagree on that. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Otherwise, if you are more conscious of the fats that you want to ingest, yeah. you know, avocado, sure. olive the oil, coconut, cooking with coconut okay. oil instead of, you know, other oils. Sure. So there's a whole, like, a more conscious move towards what we eat, what we put in our bodies, you okay. know. Um, stay away from any junk food, any yeah. packaged okay, that, foods. that we agree on. You know what I mean? What, what can we do at home? So there's there's a whole bunch of us here that probably need to be uh, go through the program, but we're not going to get to go through the program. So what can we do at home to help us kick the addiction? Well, I think get rid of any packaged processed foods, you know, start cooking from your garden, grow your own veggie garden, start cooking fresh meat, fresh fish, uh, loads of vegetables, um, a lot of a, it's, it's a lot more of a wholesome diet, um, a whole foods diet, a more authentic diet, going back to how we used to live off the land mm. um, as such, you know, have nuts, um, have some fruit, I mean, not everybody can handle fruit, but you know, we're, we're not that, that Hectic. Severe, oh. yes. <laughs> so tweet this message for me, Karen. Yes. Um, I mean, we listened to a whole lot of things that you said. Try and sum it up for me in one single tweet. What would it be? Wow, one tweet, and that's so limiting as well, here. All right, well then don't do that. Tell me about the tattoo on your leg then. How's that? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> um, the tattoo on my leg says, um, it is our light, not our darkness that most frightens us. I went through a very, very dark time in my life um, with my eating disorder and my drug addiction and my alcoholism. Um, and I never believed that there was any beauty or hope or anything in the world. And I went through a very, very hectic process of self-discovery, which took me nine months, and I'm still on it, where I just had to start believing in myself. And I realized that the scariest part for me was not being... I mean, I was quite used to being useless and not good enough. The scariest part for me was realizing that I am an amazing person, sure. that I am good enough, and that I have so much to offer this world. So this is really what we are trying to do at the clinic um, at Harmony, is really, you know, awaken body, mind and spirit. So as much as the diet is bringing all the publicity, it's, it's more about feeding every aspect of, of the being. And that's better than any tweet, Carl. Thank you so much. <laughs> I Love couldn't, that. And that wouldn't fit in a tweet. That, no, it wouldn't. <laughs> but we get that. We get the message and it's a great message. Thank you very, very much. The chemicals released by sugar travel the same pathways in the brain as cocaine and heroin. As with any addictive substance, over time you need more sugar to get the same high. So the problem with sugar addiction is only going to get worse as are the potential side effects of high sugar, diabetes, heart disease, depression, Alzheimer's, even arthritis. So let's take a leaf out of Karen's book and kick the habit. What do you say? Yeah, yeah I agree. Cool. <laughs> Save up to 50% on your medicine bills. Ask your doctor or pharmacist if Pharmadynamics has a generic medicine that's suitable for you. I want to live the best life.